Hello everyone. Today we will see Unit 3 Text Mining in Social Network. First we look at the content of the text mining. It, it contains the introduction, keyword search, classification algorithm, clustering algorithm, transfer learning in heterogeneous networks, comparison of all algorithms and tools for text mining. Let us start with the introduction. All of you know that social networks are rich in text. So, we can, it is very useful to apply the text mining tools on the social networks. So, we can perform the keyword search, classification, clustering and cross-domain learning or transfer learning on the social networks. Let us see the challenges or the, what are the, what is meant by a keyword search. Keyword searches provides a simple but user-friendly interface for information retrieval on the web. Social network stores a data in the form of graph structure. Keyword search become a more complex than your traditional keyword search over the document. So what are the challenges? The first challenge is the query semantic. The searching of the keyword in a document is very simple as compared to searching a doc searching a word in a graph it, you have to work a very at a very finer granularity granularity in the graph data structure then the second is the ranking strategy the, it is very important to decide which subgraph is to display based on the ranks and the third and very important is the query efficiency in the many real life graphs are extremely large. It is based on effective traversal of underlying graph structure. So the algorithm that you design for a keyword search must be, must be efficient. It gives the result in a fraction of second. So these are the three challenges for the keyword search. Then we go for the query semantic. How to define the query for a keyword search? A query is consists of set of keywords like K1, K2, K3 up to Km. Then what is the first answer to the query Q? So how you can define that which subgraph qualifies this, which satisfies all, all these keywords. And the second the question is, what is the goodness of the answer? The answer to the query is a set of graphs. Now, out of that set of graph, which is the good answer for the set of keyword? So, you need some answer ranking strategy to give the goodness of the answer. All of you know that social networks is represented in terms of the graph. So, let us understand the graphical representation of different uh, database, XML, web and nested graph. Okay. So, if you are representing the database in terms of the graph, then the node represent the tuple and the edges represent the foreign key concept. If you are storing the social network or the web content in the term of XML, XML document, then the node is considered as an element or attribute and the age is nothing but the parent-child relationship. If you are talking about the web, world wide web, then here the node is nothing but the web pages and the edges is nothing but the hyperlinks. Now in the case of nested graph, the objects are considered as a node and the edges are considered as a data flow or the expansion of the object. Now let us start with the first uh, set of algorithms that is keyword search over XML data. Now all of you know that what is meant by keyword search. Actually the keyword search is an uh, is a software which is running it has a GUI through that GUI you are entering a keyword and that keyword is searched on a backend data and the data might be stored in the form of XML or it might be stored in a relational DBMS or it is stored in the form of graph data structure. So the keyword search is actually the application running at the front end and the back end might be XML relational database or graph. XML is a standard format for data representation and data exchange over the internet. 
वाइड एप्लीकेशन सच एज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बिजनेस साइंस टेक्स डेटा बेसिस डिजिटल लाइब्रेरीज हेल्थ केयर फिनांस इन दिस केस द एक्स एम एल इज यूज टू फाइंड द मोस्ट रिलेवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विद द इनपुट की वर्ड्स ओवर द करस्पॉन्डिंग एक्स एम एल दैट इज द एम ऑफ द की वर्ड सर्च द मेन एम ऑफ द की वर्ड सर्च इज टू फाइंड द रिलेवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन ओवर द एक्स एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट Keyword search algorithms are classified into three approaches: tree-based approach, graph-based approach, and semantic-based approach. Tree-based approach is composed of LCA, SLCA, and MLCA, which is widely used for a keyword search as compared to graph-based approach and the semantic-based approach. So let us see the first algorithm of, of keyword search over the LCA. Or over the XML document is the LCA. LCA stands for the lowest common ancestor. So let LI be a set of nodes in XML document that contain the keyword KI. If we pick one node NI from each LI and form a subtree from these nodes, subtree contain all the keywords. Second is answer to the query is LCA that is the lowest common ancestor among N1, N2, and N1. I repeat the concept. Let LI be a set of nodes in XML document that contains the keywords KI. If we pick one node NI from each LI which satisfies the keyword or which matches with the keyword. And form a subtree from these nodes. The subtree contains all the keywords. Then you have to find out the answer to the query is nothing but the. You have to take the LCA of N1, N2, N3. Let us take an example. Suppose this is a XML document which is represented as a tree. This is a XML document of the conference data. Okay, so the conferences contain the data like name. Year, paper. Okay, so different papers are published in the conference. So the name of the this is one sample data. The name of the conference year is mentioned. In the paper, there is a sub elements like title, author. Okay, then the title, author, title, author. So in this title, there is a some <clears throat> example of the it is keyword. Then name of the author. Okay, so here the title is keyword. XML is one title and the top K is one title. So let us see <coughs> how to find out the lowest common ancestor. Suppose if I want to apply the keyword search on the Mark Young, I want to see the papers published by the author Mark Young. So, how you will, can reach to this author through the root node that is conference, conference to paper, paper to the author and author to the mark. Okay, so this is one subtree which satisfies the keyword search. Now, the next type of algorithm is a smallest, lowest common ancestor. Keyword search using SNCA semantic return the nodes in the XML data that satisfy the two conditions. The first is the subtree rooted at the nodes contain all the keywords and the nodes do not have any proper descendant node that satisfy the conditions. For example, this is a XML document which is represented in the form of tree. And consider the keyword search A, B, C, D, E on T1. So identify the or you have to search the keywords A, B, C, D and E. So which are satisfying X1, X2, X3, X4. This Three, four nodes are satisfying these keywords A, B, C, D, E. So 
So what is the result of LCA? LCA is given as X1, X2, X3 and X4. These are the four nodes which satisfies the keyword search. Now, what is the result of SLCA? SLCA is gives you the only the X4 as a node for a keyword search. Why X4? Because the X4 is the descendant node in the LCA. Okay, smallest, lowest count ancestor, common ancestor. So, uh, among X1, X2, X3, X4, the X4 is the descendant node and it satisfies all the queries. That is D1, E1, A1, B1, C1. So, it satisfies all the keyword search. So, result of SLCA is X4. Thank you.